Well guys, we're back and I don't know, but kind of wondering if I had my first little bite here. Because my line's a little bit on the slack side. So I'm gonna bring it in. I'm gonna bring it in and we'll see. Let's see if there's anything fucking with it. See if there is anything on it, even. I don't know, I might have missed a fish. I might have missed a fish, guys. Might have missed a fish. I might have missed a fish, because it doesn't feel very heavy. It feels heavy, but it doesn't feel like anything's pulling it. Yeah, I'm pulling in something here, weeds. I might have missed that fish that I was Trying to get. Yeah. I had a bite, I think. One bite so far, maybe. So let's clean off our hook here of these weeds and try it again. Try throwing it out there again. I'll put it right back in the same spot that I had it. Still smell garlicky. Good. Thrown off lots of scent. Alright. <clears throat> I must have had a bite, guys. That's the only thing I can see that would have uh, caused me to lose all of my slack in my, or all of my tight tension in my line. I had my line a little bit on the tight side so that I could uh, see if anything was gonna hit it. Uh, now I want to take my reel. Just gently, you guys see what I'm doing here? I'm just gently tightening up my line. If there is a breeze, so you wanna, you wanna make sure that you get your line on the tighter side. And there's those breezes like that. You can slack it off just a wee bit. But you want it to be on the tighter side, right? So just let it sink a little bit here. That's something that will happen when it doesn't happen here. Tighten it up. You guys can't really see the tip of my rod, but that's okay. You don't need to. Need to tighten that up. Okay, there, there we go guys. And so that's, it should be good. And now we just have to sit and wait. Yeah, you guys can get the view of the beautiful lake. I think there's another little lake that uh, my caregiver, Roly had told me about on the way up here called Rat Lake. So thinking maybe tomorrow I'll go investigate Rat Lake because Rolly knows, my caregiver knows the way up there. So I'm thinking I'll go investigate that lake tomorrow. See my fire? See my fire there? My beautiful little, my beautiful little shameless I feel very ashamed of this fire. <laughs> it's not wanting to go, which is okay. I can, I can make it go. I need the coals for the for my supper tonight. So I'm gonna take that stuff off of there. And I'm gonna lay that down across there like that. This one.
break it like that. Now, just like that. There we go. Oh, without having to use my saw or anything, I had to focus on breaking this hunk of wood here so I can get some holes happening in my fire here. Oh! Hey! Yay! Yay! Oh, there! Oh. Stick it right in, right down there, just like that. Yeah. fire do the work on that one. Yeah. Gonna have to. Gonna have to let the fire do the work on that one. On those ones. Okay. Whew. There. Come back and check the rod. Oh shit. Okay. So stand down here and We'll just stand here and have a little look-see around. See what we can, what we can see. Yeah. Just, uh, Sorry about the moving on all the all the moving on the camera and whatnot. It's my new little chest mount that I made. I'm gonna probably tomorrow or tonight when I go home fix this chest mount up and, and straighten things out a little bit to make it a bit better sitting on me so that it straightens out a little bit. There we go. That's better. That's a bit better for filming, I think. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that's a bit better for filming. Just so I can, there, that one on that side there. Just like that. Pinch that in. That doesn't affect me very much then. There, okay. Sorry guys, trying to fix this and it's being really fucking annoying. Uh, being really fucking annoying. There we go. Oh, so I can see a little bit of what's going on with the camera, and uh, only a little bit. There's my fire. You can see my fire now. I think. Yeah, you guys can see that fire. Yeah. I don't know that I'm gonna film my way out of here. It's uh quite the hike getting in and out of here so I don't uh, 
I don't really know that I actually want to film my way out of here, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, guys? I, it's it's a, it's quite the it's quite the little hike getting in and out of here. So it uh, it really is. I don't know if if it's something I want to want to film going out, right? So oh, I'll have to see. I'll have to see where my where my body and my energy level is at later when I go to hike out of here. So we'll have to see where everything's at. Energy level, food, if I've had enough food in me. But generally, if I don't eat, I don't, uh, I don't do fuck all very well. So I need to eat. So I'm gonna get my brisket and we're gonna cook that here in a little while. I was kind of hoping to do a fish if we got one, but a catch and cook, but we don't have a fish yet. So like I said, I think I missed one fucking bite. I think I missed a bite myself because my, la my line was fairly slack and I had it fairly taunt like it is now. So. Oh, well, I don't know if you saw that on camera, but one fish just poof right out of the water. That was cool. I don't know if you saw that or the camera picked that up or not, but that was pretty cool. I just looked up and all of a sudden this fish leaped right out of the water. That was pretty neat. I don't know if the camera got that. I hope it did. I'm going to have to go back and rewatch this video to see if it, uh, if the camera picked that up or not. That's cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Straighten out my line a little bit, so takes a bit of that bow out of there. <clears throat> well, I think I'm gonna find a spot and I'm gonna hang you guys so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing when I okay take this off and we'll hang you. How's that? We'll hang you right here. Yeah, we'll hang you right here. How's that? You guys like that? You guys like that little hanging spot right there? Oh, you guys can see exactly me and everything I decide I'm gonna do when I'm cutting up the potatoes and the shallots for my brisket. I'm gonna do my brisket and tin foil with potatoes and shallots around them. Butter and oh, bacon grease. Oh, it's gonna be so freaking good, guys. This brisket, it's gonna be good. I'm just waiting for the coals because what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig it out a little bit, put the brisket in there, and cover it up with coals and just let it sit there and cook itself away. That's why I'm trying to get this wood down a little bit. Yeah. To worry about my camera on me now. <laughs> Just leave it right here and it'll do its thing. It's fine. It'll do its thing just fine. So, I gonna cut this one in half. Oh, you guys can see me just fine cutting that. Cut this guy in half. Thank you. 
There. Okay guys, got that fire up and going again. <clears throat> Take my jacket off here, turning into a nice evening. So once that burns down, then I can get that brisket on. So. We're going to actually go ahead and start preparing our potatoes and our brisket and our shallots. So we need that out. Oh, we need this out. Um, soups, bag of shallots, 
and that's all we need out of there. Yeah, the rest of it's in here. So, so out of here we need. I have my shrimp. Good. Well, make sure my plate for sure is one. I don't know if I need milk. I need the butter. I need potatoes. We need our meat. A piece of brisket. What else have we got in here? Oh, our bacon grease. We need. We might do a pot, a thing of Annie's. I'm not sure yet. So, sure, sure, sure. We need our knife to cut our food up. We need to cut into this with a good, strong blade. That whoops. I'll cut that off. We'll do all four shallots, because they're not big. They're actually quite small. So, go ahead and clean these shallots off of all their skin, so that they're skinless. All right, the way I do that is I take my knife, and I just kind of peel it back like that. I take the outside layer of skin off first, because that's going to come off the easiest, right? Just like an onion. And then I'm going to take the other side here and do the same thing. You don't want to eat that. You need to take it, just peel it back like that. I'm not so worried about bears, cougars coming around. If they want my food, they can fight me for it. That's the way I look at it. If they want my food, you can fight me for it. I'm not, I'm not too uh, scared of a bear or a a cougar coming around me. It doesn't bother me. Take that whole outside piece off. The whole outside piece of skin comes right off. Yeah, just like, just like that. Toss it. And then there you have one shallot. One shallot ready to go. And be diced. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Because we're using all four of them. We want nice and oniony right um, i brought two packs of the shallots just in case like just in case we decided we were going to do more than you know but we're not so then we're going to take this right off oh this one's coming already apart in two pieces that's nice i like that take that whole off like that I'm just going to keep doing this until my shallots are all completely healed. All right. Just do that. Run my knife down the side of it, taking off only the outside layer, leaving everything else intact there. We are going to give these uh, a rinse in the lake, just because I feel like rinsing them, just to get anything off of them that could be on them from sitting in my cupboards. So they were sitting in my cupboard, so it's good to do the old, you know, give them a little wash in the lake there and sanitize them up, I guess, <clears throat> before eating them. We do have mice that are running around our house because we're trying to kill them and feed them. We're trying to feed them so we can kill them and uh, get rid of them. Whoops, shit. There <laughs> goes one of my shallots. Yeah, we're going to give these a rinse here in the, in the water. <clears throat> oh. Just a little dousing and there. 
Oh, you fucker. Well, at least it rolled into the water. Uh, got washed off again. Okay. Our knife and our cutting board here. And now we're going to dice them up. The way I like to do that is I like to take them and separate them so they like that. And then I just cut them so that they're, you know, nothing too fancy. Doesn't have to be too thin. I like them a little on the thicker side myself. Just because I like onion on the thicker side anyway. As per usual, I like onion on the thicker side, so. Yeah. And again, doing the same thing, just using, I'm just using the very tip of my knife, just because my knife is super, super sharp. It doesn't need the, the whole uh, tip city. It doesn't need the whole, you know, thing to cut one onion. I can just put the tip on there and basically press down, as we just saw. <laughs> I can pretty much just put the tip on there and press right down on it. pretty much what I'm doing is just, uh, you know, take whatever there. Nothing, like I said, nothing too fancy, right guys? It doesn't have to be that super, super duper fancy or no, or anything when you're cutting these guys. It just has to be enough that you can cut them, right? So, like I said, I like my onions on the thicker side. And really all a shallot is is a cross between, well, I don't even know if it's a cross, but it, I've told, been told it's a cross between a garlic and an onion, but it's not. It, I think it's more of an onion, a real, real, real strong, potent onion. I do all my cooking, I use shallots instead of onions. I, I do, I do, don't get me wrong, I do buy white onions from time to, from time to time, but I prefer, if I can, to use these shallots because they have more um, substantial flavor, I think. I think they have more flavor. They're uh, better tasting. They go better in every in almost everything. You can put them on almost anything, and they'll they'll go perfect with almost anything. And I never even thought to look and see if my camera was still running either. So if you guys don't hear me yakking and don't see any of this I'm doing, it's probably because my camera's not running. I was stupid and I never checked to see if it was still running. So, I'm going to open up our roll of tin foil here. This is barbecue tin foil, so it's good stuff. I'm going to set this right down here. Right aside for now. Yeah, I'm going to get my knife. Up, 
move them aside for now because the brisket's going right in the middle and we're going to sprinkle these all the way around the outside of that brisket. So we're going to put our brisket down now. I don't have any spices for the brisket either. So we're doing the brisket spiceless, which is okay. I don't care. I don't mind doing a spiceless brisket. It'll still be good. It'll still be good. Don't worry, guys. This brisket is going to be really good. Um, I, uh, I've cooked brisket lots, so I know how to, I know how to make brisket pretty good. I've cooked it lots. So we're going to do, yeah, that's good. That side down like that. Move that right there like that. Potatoes are next, so... Taters are next in line here to get diced. We gotta find find us some good taters here. Yeah. So we gotta find us a good tater here. Some good taters that aren't uh, too bad. I've had these taters sitting around now for quite some time. And they need to be used. That's a bad one. Just throw that out. That's an okay one. It's okay, it's soft. It's got a soft spot on it. I think most of these taters are just fine. Just fine, mate. Just fine. Get these taters down like that. Okay, let's get these taters cut. So for our taters, we're gonna go in quarter chunks. So one like that, and one like that, and then spin it and go again like that. And do the same, cut that down like that. To the, you want them to cook fast, so you want bite-sized pieces, right? So, do the same. Pretty much bite-sized pieces, and that way everything is going to be ready all at the same time, right? So. These potatoes are almost past their prime, so I'm glad I'm using them. These taters are almost uh, right up past their prime here. I'm glad I'm using them, getting them used. Lost a potato, a piece of a potato. It's all right. It's not like it's the end of the fucking world. It's not like it's the end of the fucking world and we're gonna all die because we lost a potato. <laughs> we lost a half a potato, we're not all gonna die. guys there over on the other side now. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not fucking worried about animals or bears or cougars or any of that. Nothing's gonna come around with me making a whole shit ton of noise like this. Lost another. It's all right. I can sacrifice a few for 
potatoes. Some sacrifice. A potato. <laughs> a little bit of dirt in there ain't gonna kill us. A little bit of dirt in there ain't gonna kill ya. You eat it like a... You know? I think this will be good. Doing it this way should be... Yeah. We should have a good brisket. I think. I think we're gonna have a good brisket. I'm just gonna... I'll toss that half of the other half of potato in the water. Give it to Mother Nature. I'll give it to Mother Nature. And... That grab our brisket and our shallots. Like we we'll grab our a handful of our shallots. We we'll grab our shallots and take my glove off to do this in order to do this properly I have to take my glove off so I can put our onions right over top of it just like that oh, and our potatoes are going there just like that oh. our potatoes and our knife bacon grease and butter we're going to put in and scoop of cooked bacon grease in there just for cooking making things like this oh so yum yum and our fucking dude bought, bought, brought a brisket dude brought his brisket Fuck yeah, I did. Oh, you ain't going hungry, I guess. Nope. Nope. I'm sure not. Alright. Back in there. Um, butter. Butter. to use a big old hunk of butter in there. Put it around. Don't be afraid to get another hunk either. Use another hunk for that side right there. Because this brisket, you want it to be real, real moist, right? Don't be afraid to use butter. 
And don't be afraid. There's lots of other ones. Get potatoes and stuff and onions. Oh, so good stuff. Yeah. So yeah, don't be afraid to use butter and use... Now I wish we had, we have salt and pepper. That's all we have. So that's all we're gonna put on this. Little tiny bit of salt and pepper. And that should be just fine. Stick it on the coals. We'll have ourselves a real good catch and cook. Or a, not catch and cook, but we'll have ourselves a good cook. Seeing as how we haven't uh, caught anything yet. So I was hoping to do a catch and cook, but it's not looking like that's going to happen so far. So I don't know. I can't do my catch and cook if I don't have a fish to do it with. <laughs> so, and in here is a salt and pepper shaker. Mix it up, give it a real good coating and some salt and peppers. And, oh, yeah. Real good coating. This is how I do my wild game meat as well. So I might need a, another piece of tin. Maybe. Not Maybe not. I'm gonna try and keep all that heat in there, right? I'm use another I'm use another small piece of tin foil over the edge here, just over the edge of it. Holy, that's uh, tough stuff to rip. Our brisket ready to go. Stick it right in the coals. And let that make some room here. Goals. Should cook. It's got lots of heat coming up. All right. Let that do its thing.
check my phone and see if it's still running. Yeah, it's still filming. It's good. You guys got that whole entire cutting process and making of the, of the thing on there. Get it. It's all filmed. <clears throat> Fuck, I can just smell the meat and everything cooking in there already. That's going to smell really good. I can just smell everything sizzling away. Oh, it smells so good. The smell of that is just unbelievable right now. Remember, nothing goes to waste, right? So we don't leave we don't leave anything behind. We, we don't leave anything wasteful on our food. Make sure we eat it all or save it so that we take it home and eat it at home, right? We don't wanna we don't want anything to go to waste. And I'm kinda thinking of making coffee. Well, I do that while I cook that so I can have me a coffee. I can have me a coffee then. Will I, uh, will I cook my, my, uh, brisket there? I'm gonna make me up some coffee. Where's my cup? Okay, where's my cup now? There it is. Think. Where the hell did I put my cup? Boil the lake water. Two cups. Should be all I need. Boil up coffee. Boil up a little bit of coffee. Make up some coffee. Yeah. Make up some coffee. Get that on a boil. Get that boiling. Boiling. Make my coffee. That should already start to be steaming out of there. It is already starting to steam, so it doesn't take this doesn't take very long to make coffee and get your water to boil. Okay. Coffee's just not good enough. Oh yeah, kind of. No, I need it still. I slacked it. I slacked it off, yeah. I had it tighter because the wind was blowing a little bit. Brisket. Cooking. And you want to leave that and you want to leave that brisket in there and on that for about half an hour to an hour should be perfect so get our coffee boiled up so we can our water boiled up so we can make some instant coffee that's all i have is instant coffee i don't have any sugar or anything for it either so it's instant coffee with a bit of milk <laughs> yeah i don't have any sugar I would go find uh, some pine sap or um, something like that, or birch sap. Uh, even maple sap would be nice, but I don't, there's nothing like that around here in this forest, so. Or pine, but I don't really want to be putting pine sap in my coffee, you know what I mean? It's just not my forte.
smell coming out of that is just phenomenal, unreal. Yeah. Just the grease spilling out of it, the bacon grease spilling out of it is unfucking real, dude. Well, I know. It's water's gonna come to a boil here soon. Bacon grease dripping out of that, and the butter, and oh, it's gonna be so good. That's my dinner, my lunch, my everything. So. I'm not gonna film my hike out of here because it's just a bitch getting in and out of here, so. And I have to find the right trail to take this time because I bushwhacked my way in here. So. God, that just smells like roasted potato and barbecuing meat. That smells chaos. That's going to be good. Give me that perfect little bit. <sighs> beautiful out today. Just beautiful out, guys. It's a spectacular day. Um, I couldn't have asked for a better day to come out here and do this. Couldn't ask for a better day to come out here and do this. So, yeah, this is, uh, this is nice. This is nice. Boil up our water, get it boiling, so that it's boiling. You can see it's steaming, so our water's steaming. I want it to boil though. Yeah, so. I tell you, this meat is gonna be good. Oh yeah. There's just something about it. just something about the whole inside of this meat that says nummy nummy. juices and everything man Jesus fuck this is this is a real treat for me to come out here and be able to cook for you guys cook with you guys and show you uh, 
show you guys everything that I do when I'm out here, right? So this is going to be a two-part video, probably three-part video, maybe. No, I think it's going to be a two-part video. So, and my closer will be when I get back to the parking lot, I'll make a little clip to close the, the whole thing out. So, yeah, this is going to be really, really tasty, guys. I just flipped it. So, yeah, you want to do about five minutes on each side, ten minutes on each side even. I do five, only because it's I like my meat a little on the raw side. So just flipped it. <clears throat> we'll let everything cook now on that side. And it's bacon and juicy juices. Oh, it's going to be good. The butter, the bacon, the fucking, oh, my God. Just the smell coming off of this, guys. Unreal. Unreal. The smell coming off of that. Is literally unreal. You have no idea. If you haven't cooked a brisket before or you haven't done it this way, man, you have no idea what it's like. Fire singed, fire grilled. Oh, it's gonna be good. I would thought my original plan was to go and do it on a stick, but I decided nah. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do it this way and I brought the tin foil and everything for it, so that's my plan. Oops. How we're gonna cook it, and that's how, that's how I decided to cook it, and that's how we cooked it. So, I want all that bacon grease and shit to melt out and melt down and create like a almost like a bath of grease. And that's going to allow you to deep fry your meat, basically, and deep fry the the vegetables that are sitting on the bottom right now. Yeah, because we're going to take that, we're going to flip it, we're going to undo it, and it's going to be, oh my god, we're going to tear into it on that side, I think. Once I transfer it to my plate, I have a spatula that I'm going to dig it out of the fire with, two of them. And I'll transfer it onto my plate, and it'll be good. Oh yeah, this shit's going to be really good, man, oh yeah. A little bit stinky. I'm gonna try over where they're jumping more. If you can't cook one. And I'm also in this lake there's brookies. So I'm also trying for the East End Brooks as well. So trying for the Eastern Brookies because this is one of the only lakes you can actually get Eastern Brookies in, so. And this is the only lake on the island that you can get the Eastern Brookies in, so. That's why I'm trying for them. Sinking it down to the hole. I should be using a worm, but I'm not. I don't, didn't pick any up today. And I think tomorrow I'm probably gonna head out to Rat Lake. I'm gonna make a video of going up to Rat Lake. See what Rat Lake's like. Never been there, never fished there, so we'll have to wait and see what Rat Lake is like. I don't know. I have no idea. I've seen pictures of it, and there's a trail that goes all the way around it. So I've seen, yeah, I've seen a few pictures of the lake, but never, never been up there. I might have been up there years ago when I was a kid fishing, but I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Might have been, it would have been years and years and years and years and years ago that I was up there, if I was at all up there. 
would have been the only reason why I was a girl. But I ended up there. Anyway. God, boys and girls, our water is boiling. Let's uh, make some coffee. Our water has boiled. Let's make our coffee. Oh, yeah. Okay. We'll reach into here and grab our coffee. stirring our coffee I need my I don't have a spoon with me so I need to get my bacon greased fork <laughs> that I think I kind of oh no okay never mind I was gonna say my bacon greased fork that I almost thought I wrapped up in uh, tin foil and cooked with the meat which would have been not good I don't know if you guys have ever done that, but I have. Wrapped up my tin foil and totally forgot that I had my fork in there. It uh, wasn't so tasty. I was trying to, I, it wasn't, it didn't make for a, a tasty, uh, you know, tasty treat. Having a fork in there that was super, super hot that I couldn't even take out or anything because it was so fucking hot. Well, I couldn't even take it out. I couldn't even take it out, guys. It was so hot that I ended up needing to let my food cool before I could actually grab the fork and eat with it. Okay, so grab my oh, handy cup and we'll rinse it out. Oh, you're looking at this lake water. You can hear me for lots of stuff. Put our coffee cup right there. Put our spout on. really rinsed that milk on there so it wouldn't uh so that it wouldn't uh it wouldn't uh, whoop spilling milk all over me not good I won't do that I only need a little bit of milk my coffee. Pop the handle up. Pour the coffee. Pours the coffee. Put that right back there. Like that. Wrench that down again. That. Oh baby. Been looking forward to a coffee. I brought it. Uh, no sugar though. There's no sugar. That's okay. We don't need sugar. Grab 
good old camp coffee. You don't need sugar for camp coffee. Nope. Don't need sugar for camp coffee. and everything and it's already dirty. Oh, fuck. Just fucking washed this. It's already dirty? No. Not fucking cool. spatula. I have big tongs and big spatula. Ow! You fucker. Oh, this looks so good. Let it finish cooking in there. And then we will, should, have a really, really tasty meal. <sighs> Let that finish cooking in there. We should have a really, really tasty meal. We'll just uh, seal that up in there and let that finish its cooking and then we should have a really tasty meal. Oh yeah, we should have a really tasty meal. It's gonna finish doing its thing. Scooch that in. Burns. It's burning. Okay guys, I think I'm ready to dig in. Oh, heavy fucking, that is heavy. That is one heavy piece of meat, guys. Oh, camp coffee and everything. Can't go wrong with that. Okay, so, let's, uh, dive in. This looks like something that I would have made many, many years ago. A beef brisket. Oh my god. Potates. Big old hunk of meat like that. <coughs> my taters. Some onions. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Everything's just sliding out so nicely. Oh, isn't that just looks so, so edible right now? That hunk of meat, perfectly done. And the potatoes, perfectly done. <laughs> potatoes are perfect. Oh, they're so good. And that salt and that pepper, that really, that really made a difference. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna add a bit more salt and pepper to this. 
nih ini banget Oh my god, guys. I'll dig into that meat in a minute, but I'm gonna get some of these potatoes into me. This is my Easter dinner. So, <clears throat> happy Easter to me. Happy Easter to all of you guys and families out there. You know, spending time with your kids and, and families and Maybe I'll get out tomorrow. Maybe I'll get out on Tuesday. But uh, <clears throat> you never know. right? When you do get out, start go somewhere like this. Or you're in the bush like this. You can make yourself a fire. Cook yourself something. You know, like... This is 100% some of the best meals I've ever done. Is out here over a fire. Out at a lake over a fire <clears throat> even in my own backyard you know <clears throat> i like to say as i like to say get out there and get her done get out there and get things built bush built bushcraft something build a shelter build a fire cook some food you know nothing better than that and getting out and even you can do it with your with your sons or your daughters or whatever <clears throat> if they so happen to be into the outdoors not so much video games right i'm not into video games i'm into the outdoors and learning this and learning that and teaching new ways and i'm a teacher in fishing so i'll get out there and teach the youngsters and teach the adults even too they don't know what they're doing so but right now with this pandemic and everything it's pushed me to a halt with that so i kind of have to kind of have to uh <clears throat> just fish on my own and go places like this that are secluded and do my videos you know, make my YouTube videos and try to get my channel strong, right? So, strong and thriving channel, that's what I want, you know? And uh, doing this like this has a lot of potential for me. Because using my camera like this, I'm using my phone camera, so as many of you guys know who watch my videos, you know, I've used my phone camera for many years doing this. Um, you know, it works just fine. But I'd like to get a DLSR or DSLR, I mean, <clears throat> and uh, a GoPro. Um, because I want to get a head mount, chest mount, for my GoPro, proper chest mount, you know, and uh, I want to get another camera I can put on a tripod and set up. I could have a camera over here. I could have a camera over here, even right where mine is now. Mine's hanging off a bush, a little, a little uh, pine tree. That's what it's hanging off of. hanging off of a tiny wee pine tree and right now <clears throat> i'm only at this lake today because i never thought i can't and i can't really fish my other lake that i like to go to at this time of year which is uh i never went there last year at this time anyways i went there uh in the summer well hotter temperatures than what it is now and, uh, yeah, there was people swimming in the lake and water, the water level was even really low when I went there the last time. I haven't been back since. 
So, and that lake is Lake Couchin. I'm not sure if any of you are familiar with that lake, but that lake is a world renowned lake for um, rainbows, cutthroat, browns. You know, <clears throat> it's not like this little lake that I'm at right now that has brookies and browns and, you know, it's filled with a lot of different fish, right? And uh, Lake Couchin is too, but it's home to big cutthroat, big rainbows, and big browns. And uh, if you ever want to try fishing that lake, what's a fun lake? You go over by the old mill site on Yubo there park down there I'll show it to you when it just after April 15th or April 14th I'll show you I might go out there on the 15th or the 16th 15th is opening day for that lake so there might be a little there might be a few fishermen out <clears throat> I'm going to eat every ounce of this hunk of meat. Yeah. I want to cut into it. And I want you guys to see what that meat looks like inside. <clears throat> and it's going to be tender and juicy. Yep. My sharp knife we'll use. We'll cut right there I can just make it even better and cut straight down cut that <clears throat> right across have a look at that guys you see that you see that meat that is tender we're gonna cut a hunk off of that right now yeah and we're gonna eat that Mmm, my god, guys, that is really good. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. That is a tender brisket. That's a tender brisket. That's medium. That's medium rare. That's perfect. That's perfect. Mmm. Oh God, guys, this is good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, this is really good. This is really good, really good. I might eat this half tonight and save this half for when I get home tonight. Cause I know I'm gonna have, uh, I'm gonna want something when I get home. So, um, I always do when I get home. I have a bag of chips, but that's not satisfying like eating a big hunk of meat is. I don't know. There's something so satisfying about that. You guys ever get that? Where you're sitting down eating your meat? Okay, don't literally take this the wrong way. But you're sitting there eating your meat and <clears throat> you just find it so satisfying. <laughs> like... I don't even know, but I know you guys are probably laughing because I'm saying you're sitting there eating your meat. But, and I know it sounds like beating your meat, but literally don't take it the wrong way. Like I said, don't hear things the wrong way either. You're literally sitting there eating a piece of meat, eating your meat, and it's just so satisfying. so satisfying to be able to sit there and chew that meat mm. and suck on it mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. suck the juices out of it 
Okay, now I'm getting a little carried away there. Like I said, this channel's not meant for kids under the age of 18 or, well, 16. <laughs> under the age of 16, this is not meant for kids. So, there's just something satisfying about eating your meat. <clears throat> I don't know what it is, but it sounds really funny when I say it. I'm eating my meat. <laughs> I can't imagine going somewhere with someone. And they're, they're sitting there at a restaurant. I can't imagine, you know, sitting there and looking through the menu. And, uh. A lady friend looks up at you and says, well, what you going to have? You look at her and you say, I'm going to eat my meat. She would look at you so fucking funny, so fast, that <clears throat> I think she'd turn the other direction and run away. If she said, if she heard you say, I'm going to eat my meat, that lady would be running the other direction so bloody fucking fast. Like, <clears throat> I've done these briskets smoked. I've done these briskets baked like this. I've done them many, 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 many ways. I hung the meat. I did a, hang, a hanging cook the other day. Um, it was really good, too. Mm -hmm. Like, really good. I don't even know. I've got my camera rolling. I have no idea what time it is, guys. I've lost track of time. So, I'm hearing voices. My camera's probably picking that up, too. There's people in the trail. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. 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 This is so good. Eating this balanced meal like this. <clears throat> we'll be able to one because I left all the fat on this brisket this will one help me to be able to main and get, maintain and gain the energy that I need to hike my ass out of here tonight and make it back to the parking lot so Yeah. We're hiking out of here at dark. So. I'm pretty much letting that fire die down. Any logs that aren't burnt, I'm going to throw in the water so they go out. Mm hmm. And they stop burning. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. oh my god. This is like you don't know, man. I don't know how to describe this this hunk of meat to you. <clears throat> 